Welcome to AFTV. I've got Yardman with me. 4-2 victory today um, against Leeds. Bamiang got a hat-trick. The players were come, they were all back, in my opinion. Bamiang especially was back in scoring form. Um, I was happy. I want to ask you a question, obviously, just straight off the bat, because I know you, you're a champion of Pepe, but he wasn't involved today. Were you disappointed not to see him start or get any, any involvement, Yardman? Definitely. I mean, mm. I harvest that this guy need a run a game and He's doing good as much as oh, we know that he's in and out, cold, sometimes cold, sometimes warm. But if you check the stats and the scoring, Pepe is right up there. So mm. I was disappointed that game against Leeds. I was disappointed because we could have Saka on the wing and one and Pepe on the next other side. So obviously I was disappointed Saka didn't, um, Pepe didn't play. But it's mm. a pass, it's a pass and pass. I mean, Mikel Arteta keep on switching and changing. We start mm. to see all guys get um, a run in the a start in the game. Didn't really create that much. Didn't really do that much. But you know, he's in first start in the Premier League, so we have to take our time with him to see who we're going to fit in and the I mean, a banging and come back and banging three goal. What can we say? I mean, that's about Abba. I just hope and pray that he's keep it up because I'm not going to jump for joy and say Abba is back because we have a couple of tough game coming up. We have. The likes of um, Liverpool, not Liverpool, um, Man City. You know the run that we got coming up. It's a really yeah, 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 yeah. And we need everybody up and ready. I don't know what happened to party. If he's going to be ready for the next match, what, Europa League next. And mm -hmm. I mean, boy, how many weeks in, weeks out we're going to come and say, this guy, Buyaka, Buyaka, he's the... He, uh, I, I, uh, he just bring back memories of the the the, the O three, the O two, the the two thousand and five and four Arsenal. Like I remember back in the days when the best team on the planet people watch was the Barcelona, and Barcelona was off of some of Arsenal player, um, yeah. like the likes of Alexander Kleb, Henry, um, yeah. Song. You know, mm -hmm. went to Barcelona at the time. Barcelona was the biggest side in the world, football inside. And yeah. we have players can go there. No, we don't really have it. And the one player that we have, and I'm not going to do it because this guy just take the Premier League by storm. And I hope and I hope and pray that this guy gets young player of the year because he deserves it. I hear they're talking about Foden. Foden, and yeah. About, and and um, my guy there from Aston Villa and all of this. But, boy, this, I mean, we are easing a side that there's not in quality, enough quality around him. And, Game, game, or this guy keep on shining. Mm. This 18, 19 year old keep on shining every single day. I agree, yeah. He's, not too, he's just too young and just come to the first team. Why? And I say, you know what? Hit him with the captain band. But he's too young, too early for that. But if he continue like that, come on. This is another great, great, great player we're going to have on our hand. Mm, I, 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 just, I agree. I agree. I don't know about the captain I, I don't know if he's a, cap, a leader no, no, or a captain. Like I said, it, no, like I said, it's way too early, but mm. he's showing the potential of being okay. a captain for Arsenal. I'm saying, I'm not saying mm. give it to him now, but the way this girl, this boy, step on the pitch and he just done, he just do what he's supposed to do. Today he yeah. was, he was, he was doing the unbelievable. Like, yeah, he was. is this guy for real? And people talk about Phil Ford and like, he's the next best thing. But I look at Saka and say, listen, Phil Ford is in a side where him of quality, world-class player around him. Saka yeah. don't have none. To be fair with you, he ain't got none. The no, one world-class yeah, player have, we, 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 we chucked him away in Mesut Ozil. So he ain't got none. And this guy's shining. Day in, day out, shining. So I want to give Saka all the praise today because I know I'm a walk away man of the match and the, the match, the, 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 the match ball. But I mean, Saka, Saka was the yeah, one. Yeah. Because even the penalty, it is a penalty. Because he didn't play the ball. He played the, he played Saka. Anywhere on the pitch, it would be a, a foul. So, why? I mean, it's soft, but it is a penalty for me because he did not play the ball. And then go back again and get, an, uh, and get a clear one now. You get me? So, the problem with Avid Arsenal is just blowing hot and cold. You mm. get me? We win two, we win three, and then we lose four, five, six. And it just needs to stop because we see Man City, we see Manu, even though Manu draw today, we see team putting a, a, a run a game and that's what we want because we're sitting in 10 team runners is losing it's just we know to just put a run a game and get back in the farm I'm not saying we're going to 
achieve the champion place, champion league. Yeah, we're, we're six points of fourth, though. We're six points of yeah, fourth. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. That look at the runner game that we have coming up. Yes, okay, fair. That, that's that a we need yeah. to look at some tough right. game coming up. Yeah. So and when mm. team when team look at Arsenal, they just mark them three points immediately. They they that confidence, and we need to get that out of our system. You get me? Mm. It's the first time I need Mikel Arteta. The second time. And I need Mikel Arteta, we score three goals in the first half. Even though we win the first half, yeah, we lose the second half. And we can't mm. do that because other team can get one goal and that one goal can bring them back in the game and at least score two. So we need to be more focused on what we're doing, especially at the back. Especially at the back. I don't know why he bent Olin today because I believe Olin should have started. You need this partnership to build. You keep chopping and changing at the back and you can't do that. In the center of position, you can't keep chop and change every week in, week out. You have to mm. have a stable back line who they know how they play game in, game out. They have to do certain moves to make so they know how they play. And we're not, we don't have that. And this is why we keep seeking goals. But all in all, today, it was a good win. Four yeah. goals at the Emirates. We haven't scored that for ages, fam. Ages. I could have yeah, to go to So, all I want is a team to just start to blow some at here. Stop cold. Whole art. We need to blow some at here, win a couple of games, and see how it's take us. The only thing I've left is to play is in the Europa League. I mean, it's a very tough league as well because there's a lot of good side in it as well. So mm. we need to just get our act together, get tough, and start to win game. Because when you keep winning game, that have a lot to do with your confidence. That have a Definitely. lot to do with taking it forward. And this is what we want. We want to start to win game in the Premier League, in the Europa League, and see where it takes us. So, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Wicked. The odd man, thank you for speaking with me. And like, again, quickly, safe notice, he is in, he stands still, he's stationary, don't I worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for watching. Yard, I'll speak to you soon, yeah?